So we'll go back into the main menu here. We'll go into um, uh, so what we've done. We've done the pictures. We've done the videos. We've done the music. Uh, so they're probably the main sort of features that you've got there. Uh, it, there's even a little weather thing here. I mean, it's yeah, it's quirky. I don't probably use it that much, but um, you can actually set this up to your own local weather. So in this case, I've got it set for Adelaide here, and it shows me a you know little sort of synopsis of the next few days forecast. And you can set up, I think, a few uh, two or three different uh, uh, locations uh, of your favourite locations and just change them around. So I'm not quite sure whether I've set any other ones up here. Uh, there you go, Mount Gambier, um, and uh, what else have we got? Gold Coast. So I've got a few different locations uh, set up, and um, so again, just a nice little feature that you have. Um, the uh, uh, one of the things that really amazes me with this, and this is probably a little bit more uh, for the people who like playing around, like mucking around with settings or whatever, is that there is just a endless variety of settings on here. So you have all these things here, you have video calibration and you have uh, uh, you know, various uh, settings for subtitles and post-processing, you know, uh, vertical deblocking filters and horizontal deblocking filters and a whole bunch of other things that, uh, you know, film grain effects, flicker filter, smoothed AV synchronization. There's been an amazing amount of thought put into this, uh, into this interface and um, so for all the areas for your music you've got um, you know, various settings here for enabling ID3 tags and various database settings, the bit rates and so forth, buffering uh, settings and um, the same with the pictures, various viewing modes uh, and, and fade effects and zoom effects and so forth. Uh, if you're familiar with the Windows Media Center, uh, how it plays slideshows where it'll actually sort of zoom in and pan it will have similar effects that you can actually do on this interface as well. And um, various system settings um, in terms of um, fan speed. Uh, by default, the Xbox tends to be quite noisy sometimes. The fan can get a little bit loud when it's on full bore. You can actually override that and it will actually keep the fan speed um, variable up and down in, in accordance with the temperature that it detects that it's running at. So right now, I've got it behind a glass uh, door cabinet anyway, but I must admit when I first was using it, it was actually a little bit noisy and it was bugging me slightly until I actually found this setting and I actually found that I could actually set the, um, the fan speed so that it would automatically um, uh, you know, sort of uh, be regulated um, by um, the, um, uh, the based on the temperature, and um, so it t tends to not be as noisy now. And there are just, as I say, endless settings on here for uh, setting things up. Um, just back there. Um, so again, I won't go into all of these, but it is pretty amazing. There are just so many things that you can sort of do, um, even probably to the extent with, um, maybe if I just quickly go back into the videos here, is that if I play a video, um, and um, let's see, we'll just get one started up here. So um, if I play a video, there's also various sort of just information uh, um, and um, format settings that you can do. So once it starts playing, I'll just uh, wait for it to start up, um, you can, uh, for instance, go into different view modes. So there's zoom and there's stretch and uh, uh, 16 by 9, custom, normal. Uh, you can probably see it sort of jumping around a little bit there from uh, different things. So you can actually set this to... Um, give you uh, the best and so I actually find that um, uh, it really does a very good job of scaling the videos exactly to the, the right size that they should be. Um, there's um, information that you can get up here that just shows you roughly what the size the resolution of, of, the, of the video is that you're watching, if it's dropped any frames, if it's having problems um, with the video. Uh, just quite handy sort of information there. Um, so yeah, it's um, as I say, I'm uh, I guess I am very impressed with uh, a lot of the uh, a lot of the things that you can do with this. Um, and um, I guess one of the things I just quickly go back into videos again is you can even play your DVDs. So I don't actually I uh, use my separate other player for playing DVDs, but you can also play DVDs on here as well. Uh, so overall, um, as I say, I am very impressed with this uh, this interface. Uh, it's very easy to use. It's very intuitive. There are literally hundreds of tweaked settings that you can do just to get it right, just to get things formatted and uh, displayed the way you want. And um, it's a fantastic solution for pulling all your 
um, digital photos, all your music and all your videos together into uh, one uh, nice uh, consolidated um, platform. So there you go, a quick tour of the, um, of the Xbox Media Center Edition. And in a tick, I'll show you quickly how I actually access the uh, original content stored in my computer in another part of the house.